Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Ryu Hayasa. Long time no see, or hear from. Um, I'm going to be doing Ninja Gaiden 2, Sigma. Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2? Right, anyway. I got the demo from the Japanese PSN store, so if you do have access to that part of the PSN, go ahead and get this demo. But for those who uh, want to wait until next week, until it appears in the English PSN store, Here's a little taste of what's going on with this one. Um, I did not play Ninja Gaiden 2 when it first came out on the 360. I'm waiting for uh, it to release on you know, PS3. And uh, namely, the biggest new feature that got me excited about it was... Um, well, first off, Ayane is in the game, who was second favorite character in Dare Alive. Um, and then there's also the co-op mode, which they have, um, you know, two people can get online or locally, I think, maybe? Maybe not locally, but two people can get online and play through missions and some of the story up modes, so it's pretty, really awesome. So I have not played the story mode yet, I have not played, like, um, you know, Ninja Gaiden 2 ever, but... Well, I played the demo earlier on just to get a feel for what was going on, but I haven't played the full game ever, so all of it's still pretty new to me. So, yeah, Ninja Gaiden. Oh, yeah, there's our other new character from um, Dragon Sword, the DS game, and then, of course, Rachel's in the game. So, it's nice that we got these new additions. Apparently, GameStop's getting the promo where if you re uh, reserve with them, you'll get the uh, alternate outfit for Ryu off the back. And yeah, there's a mix of the co-op, and just the fact that they made this game co-op is insane. And it actually works out very well. It's very fun, especially for the fact that the game is hard. The game is still very, very hard. Um, if I had a facial reaction of the first time I uh, was in a mission, and I got low, like, from the get-go, they tell you all the diff, like, the controls while you're getting your butt whooped. And then right from the get-go, I'm getting slashed and hit and beat up. And then right when I think I got a breather, I take a step near a, um, fallen ninja. And to my surprise, even though he's missing a leg, he grabs me by my foot, stabs me in my leg for an explosive kunai, and that kills me. I think the first thing out of my mouth was, my gosh, that is cheap. What is that? That's ridiculous. But anyway, that's that's kind of how Ninja Gaiden is. And Ninja Gaiden 1 was probably the hardest game I've ever played. It was probably the only video game I've ever played in my entire life that made me freaking put the controller down and be like, I can't play this anymore. I gotta walk away. I'm done. This is ridiculous. Anyway, here's the setup of the team menu. Obviously, you can be Ayane and Ryu for the demo. You can also double up or you can have two Ryus or two Ayanes, etc., etc. But just for the sake that everybody's seen Ryu and what he can do, I'll play as Ayane. Unfortunately, it seems like Ayane's only got one pair of weapons, which are the two short, sh uh, sort two short swords and then she's got a special kunai which is uh, she can throw two at a time and they're highly explosive and they stun enemies once they're hit with it obviously Ryu has his old mix of weapons the claws the gauntlets the uh, chain and scythe the regular scythe the twin swords the large sword and of course the good old faithful katana and then I think Rachel, obviously, I've seen she has the axe, and she also has a uh, Gatling gun of some sort. And I don't know what the character's name from the Dragon Sword game is, but from what I've seen, she just has a halibut, and that's it. But anyway, let's actually get started. And this voiceover is live. I'm not um, recording this afterwards, so I'm not pretty sure what my... Commentary, uh, commentary is gonna be, but yeah. So as far as I know, having not played Ninja Gaiden, one, uh, Ninja Gaiden Two, the first time around, compared to Ninja Gaiden Sigma One and the original Ninja Gaiden, 
the controls are essentially the same. Everybody controls pretty much the same, and like the first thing I did when I got control of Ryu was I did the uh, Azuma drop, and I was like, oh, that's still as awesome as ever. It pretty much beats everything except for when you just start getting smart to your tactics. Oh my gosh, and of course, yeah, you're getting clobbered and ganged up on all around. And a lot of the enemies have these command throws where they'll grab you and they'll continually do an attack on you until you die or you shake out of it. And even if you in if you dismember a enemy, they'll still be Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you cut off an enemy's leg or their foot, they're still very dangerous and they'll be more prone to suicide tactics. Oh my gosh. Um, one thing I don't like what's going on with the game, it's probably just me. I don't like the camera. I don't like the camera controls at all. I can't see anything that was going on. And I'm about to die. But I'm taking you with me. Uh, the controls for the ultimate techniques are a bit different and they're strange. They allow you to hit more enemies, but they're more prone to miss. And I'm probably going to die very soon, so you'll be able to see what happens if you uh, die in a co-op game. Thankfully, I think it's the only time they've ever shown mercy in a Ninja Gaiden game. I wish I could get an ultimate technique to actually... Oh my gosh! Whatever. So, your teammate can revive you. Um, as far as I know, I don't think it costs anything. So, but you do revive with less and less life each time. And of course, everybody, I'm sure, if you've played Ninja Gaiden 2, you already know about the um, lasting damage meter. Was as you take damage and you recover that damage, um, your life bar turns red, and that becomes damage that you cannot recover unless you use a particular item. So, as you get revived, you revive with less and less health, which means you're more prone to obviously, you know, both you getting killed. I don't know. I think the way they send waves and waves of relentless enemies at you is almost to the point of what I would call just absolutely relentless ridiculousness. Can I hit someone with an ultimate technique? Of course not. So you'll be able to play this with a buddy online, which is pretty cool. And I, I don't want to say that you could um, play the story mode because I'm just not sure. But it would be my guess. And the command throws that these enemies have are just...